<clears throat> okay, guys. Um, <laughs> last week during my ban, somebody, or before, like right before, somebody had asked me to watch this. <laughs> they made a Daniel Larson iceberg. Uh, it's from somebody named JK's Production. They are a fan of my Discord. They're a member, obviously, as well. And they said, hey, would you mind taking a look at this Daniel Larson iceberg? I'd really like you, uh, you know, some input. I said, yeah, no problem. Hey, baby, how's it going? My wife's in the chat. <laughs> I said, yeah, no problem. And uh, yeah, so we're going to watch it. I know that when I make, when I talk about Daniel Larson, some people get very upset. Um, because they say, well, you haven't followed anything in the past, like, year or something. So you mu you don't know at all what's going on. And it's like, you know, I got enough of what's happening. Daniel Larson is a, an adult with... You know, dis disabilities. He has autism and I believe schizophrenia. Uh, he has support needed, and uh, people who troll him make him <laughs> less safe. He's also partially to his partial accountability for that as well, obviously. Um, but realistically speaking, if you're somebody who relentlessly trolls Daniel, like the people who've manipulated him and convinced him that um, he should go homeless and leave his disability services. Uh, you're hurt. You're, you're contributing to him getting hurt as well as potentially other people. They're part of the problem. Uh, that's just that's just how it is. If you don't like that, then stop being a silly goose. So yeah, let's get this uh, party started. Okay. All right. Who's ready for another iceberg? So hey, it's me again, and we're gonna do the Daniel Larson iceberg. <laughs> this is a nice intro. Okay. Daniel Larson, for those who do not know, is an individual on TikTok who has schizophrenia and some autism. He's been totally some, manipulated many times. Hey, just some of it. Just a little, some of that. Or, and, he's, and he's like an open pedophile. But we do have to... Yeah, I did see uh, the, who's in New York with Josh. As far as the pedo stuff is concerned, a lot of that is a little bit ambiguous. Uh, there's some screenshots that you really can't... You really wouldn't know if they're real or not because uh, the person who has them uh, is one of the biggest Daniel Larson trolls. Uh, but okay, let's continue. Either way, uh, you know, my, my perspective on the situation has... Okay, I'm going to lose. Has remained pretty consistent that Daniel Larson needs to be <laughs> taken off the street. He's a danger to himself and others and needs to be yeah, put back into like a group home. And uh, monitored. So, it's, that's what needs to happen. Remember this, Daniel is not always in the right state of mind. Daniel has been on TikTok for a long time. So, we just need to keep that in mind. That some of these things will be speculation on my part and from the community and some will be facts because when it comes down to daniel it's hard to track down what really is the truth on daniel that's true daniel is a man with many mental mental disabilities who has caretakers so we need to keep in mind that uh, and if i sound that's sympathetic true. In this I, don't video, know how many he has, I apologize but, you know, because i'm sure. kind of sympathetic to people who have he also has behavioral issues because he had a really rough past i think that's something people should understand as well there's something that was going on he was like raised by his grandmother he may not have had like the most uh, robust family support outside of her Pretty unfortunate case. Mental disabilities. So I apologize for that. And please do not <coughs> harass anyone mentioned in this video or do not go harass Daniel. You can go troll him, but like, still don't, don't like, don't, tell don't him do that. Bad to himself, he has done don't it. troll him. Don't troll As a reminder, this is not a full <laughs> explanation on Daniel's don't life and history. This is just going over some events that people will mention in the Daniel Larson community. And I want to thank you all again for that, for the amazing support on my Cyrax video. Some people liked it. Some people did it. I understand why. My first attempt doing something like that, and I'm going to do better this time. So, yeah, let's get into layer one of the Daniel Larson Iceberg. We're watching Daniel Larson Iceberg. That's what we're watching. All right. Darcy Lane. Oh, God. Darcy Lane is a ventriloquist and a singer who was an American Idol at one point. She became yep. very popular because of that. And Daniel had a somewhat obsession with Darcy Lane. He would make some videos for yep. with her and pretty sure not knowing she was underage. And some trolls we know kind of hype him up. Hey, there it is. Yeah, I actually, I don't know if he ever knew how old she was, but of course, again, the, the trolls hype it up and make it seem like she's talking back to them and all to him and all that shit. Oh yeah, you you and Darcy should date. This is uh, an example of Daniel's obsession with certain singers that he has, and he will believe want to date him. This is only one example. No, don't go in there. There will be a bigger one later on in the iceberg. Go pussy. But yeah, this is just another person that Daniel is obsessed with. So yeah, it's gonna get worse. I promise you. Okay. Roaring Thunder. This entry is about one of Daniel Larson's most recognizable songs called Roaring Thunder. It's a good song, it's guys. It's well known because in most of his TikToks, he will use Here the song. It's in like the... this. Roaring Thunder through the night. Invite me, pussy. Oh my god, this kid's annoying. Just invite me, you stupid poop monster. All right, I'll invite you, you fucking punk. Uh, invite to the party. In the background. When he's going around places showing where he's at and all that. He actually even performed it live to a couple people in a small audience. Not impressive, but, you know, pretty charming. Hey, listen. Uh, the Robots. most charming thing on this iceberg, I think. Oh, yeah, God. Probably. <laughs>
Roaring Thunder. Oh, it's Northern Lights. Uh, I fucked up. Mohawk. This entry is about the fact that Daniel styled his hair one time to be a mohawk, which yeah, fans have that's... called the Mohawk Era. It was troll influenced by someone pretending to be Grace Vanderwall, who will come up in the iceberg again. Yeah. Pink Room. The Pink Room is referring to a room that Daniel used to live in during his early TikTok stages. Eventually, he moved into an outburst he had, which resulted in him kicking, punching, and banging his head against the wall, breaking into yeah. it and making little bits of drywall all over the floor in his room. And apparently, caretakers yelled at him to go clean up the mess, which he would not. Eventually, he left the room, and this has been assumed to be one of Daniel's outbursts or an influence by a troll. We could not really know for now, but this is just something that Daniel will do when he's very upset. He will resort to hurting himself. <laughs> yep. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. What this is something that Daniel will usually say at the end of his videos when he has an upcoming collab with a certain musical artist or troll record label. I think he just says stay tuned all the time when he's it's more of like, hey, there's more things to come. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um. <laughs> It is so silly. When I say musician artist, I mainly say a person pretending to be that musician artist. Yep. Daniel has said this so many times in his videos when he's about to make a collab with Grace Vanderwall, you know, the real one, not a troll this time, yep. guys. This is just something that Daniel like will always say. It's him. become his catchphrase in a sense. Grace Vanderwall, Vanderwall, whatever. <sighs> Incredible. This is referring <laughs> to Daniel's biggest obsession yep, ever with Grace Vanderwall. He always thinks he's in a relationship with. The American Idol singer, Grace Vanderwall, who has a TikTok. She has not posted in many months because of Daniel's harassment. Yeah, that's speculative, but it's not an unreasonable speculation. Her comments on her videos are flooded with, like, Daniel Larson, Mr. President, will you respond, blah, blah, blah. I think it even went as far as, like, the mother got in contact with Daniel and told him to stop. Um, and again, like, this is obviously a delusion of Daniel, you know, <clears throat> but realistically, like, where does it come from? It comes from, like, trolls creating accounts pretending to be her like they'll call him up like there's girl trolls too guys i don't know if you know that girls also troll there are such things as girl trolls um uh, because i watched the troll movie but yeah and they really get into this kid and like what we said uh, you know he has he has low or he has high support needed autism uh, as well as apparently schizophrenia. That one I haven't been able to like 100% confirm, but I believe he still does. And, you know, when it comes down to it, you kind of have to... It's difficult. It's difficult to um, deal with these types of things from a clinical perspective, I guess you'd say, because you have to meet somebody where they're at with the particular issue that they have. You have to meet them where they're at and work from there. So him thinking, you know, you saying, oh, that's not really Grace. That's not going to change his mind. Like, it's not like it's a suggestion to him. To him, it's real. Uh, and in order to treat that, you really have to meet them where it's at. And that's a very difficult thing that requires actual, you know, medical and professional support, which gets difficult, especially when you have a bunch of people telling him like, no, 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 it's actually happening. And these people are lying to you, blah, 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 and all this other bullshit. I just didn't collect the loot from that for whatever reason. Um, yeah, that's why he really shouldn't be on social media, in my opinion. I don't think it's I don't think it's really I don't think it's helping him that much and the trolls harassing her about Daniel. He has made many disturbing videos about Daniel where he would moan her That's name me. and saying oh, that God. he's going to have sex with her and actually thinks that yep. he's in a relationship with her. Yeah, we found out later that that was actually prompted by the trolls. They they told him to make that video for her because she wanted it. So, wild stuff. That was a very inappropriate video. That was, it was something else. This is mainly due to the fact that trolls will pretend to be her and Daniel does not question it at all. So sadly, Daniel always um, thinks. Yeah, I guess. Um, I don't want to say you're wrong. I just want, I don't know if that's the right way I would articulate that. He doesn't question it. I don't know if it's that. I don't know. Like, I guess I when I look at it from like our like our my perspective. I don't know if it's that he doesn't question it. I think that he just believes it. Right. I guess that could mean doesn't question it. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I guess I I don't know if I. I don't think I know how to articulate a slight disagreement in the way that was phrased. That he's always in a relationship with, with the real Grace. And he yeah, always he thinks he has think collabs that. coming up with her. When you yeah. try to tell him that it's not real, he will have a freak out. So you probably shouldn't do that if you see him on the street. Yeah. But yeah, that's, actu that's actually 100% correct. Yes, that's actually true. You really cannot, um, you know, it needs to probably be done in a much more professional uh, way 
because you just saying no you're no you're not that's not going to change his mind he might actually just get irate so let's go a little crazy a healthy obsession with grace vanderwall which would make sense because he used to watch american idol as a child with his grandmother and he probably saw grace on there and i think this obsession Maybe. built over the years and all that living the flipping dream this is something Daniel said when he was very happy at one point in his life, riding a bus in the flipping dream, to, uh, I presumably remember, L.A. This is during the time where some trolls, evil people, who convinced him to leave his disability services somehow. And yeah, he would he, he would sometimes say, oh, man, I'm living the flipping dream. Don't worry about it. If I got anything wrong about this entry, please tell me in the comments below. No, so I think it's pretty it's been good. been a long time. Never thought <coughs> this would be. Incredible. Almost in L.A. Almost in L.A. is referring to the time Daniel decided to leave his group home. But wow. do keep in mind, he was, was under the influence of trolls, repeatedly yeah. telling him that he was a famous, you know, celebrity and to go to L.A. to become more famous. So, That's yeah, true. Daniel basically left his group home to go to L.A. under troll influence, might I add. He is, uh, he, he ended up not being homeless again, but he's homeless right now as we speak when we're making this video. Currently. This is something that Daniel usually says all the time. Like, currently, I'm homeless. Currently, I'm going into lockdown. Currently, I'm under attack. Currently, Quandel Dingle's outside my house. Like, he'll say currently <laughs> a lot. Dingle, it's basically crazy. part of the slang at this point. Donate to my cash app. This this is basically referring to that Daniel will always say whenever he's in a dire need of money, he'll say, donate to my cash app. He usually does this, does this when he needs clothes or needs food to pay off when he's in a restaurant. And yeah, if you want to donate yeah. to Daniel, please... Fun fact, um, they convinced him that What's her face? Uh, Grace Vanderwall. And him were dating. So he had his uh, cash app set for both of them. And they were taking like half of his money out of there. Like the trolls were taking half the money out of there. So there's fun fact, guys. Be careful Definitely because fun. sometimes Daniel does not have control of his cash app account. Yeah, true. But I'm pretty sure Daniel does have control of it now. It, it, may, it may not stay like that. But Daniel is known to give his information to people who he thinks are managers in a sense. Yeah, that's true. Pop up gut. That's me. Is a YouTuber who does videos on like uh, politics issues and, and, and other dumb, nice you know, other cool stuff too. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> politics and dumb. He's right. He's not wrong. It is dumb shit. It's just funny. It's, it's cool too. I like that. That was funny. Uh, okay, true. It's mainly a reaction type channel. The reason why he's on here is because he's actually been covering the Daniel Larson for for a long, long time. That's he true. was actually able to expose some of the Daniel Larson trolls that are so, that are in this iceberg. Daniel so uh, Larson yeah, trolls. and this is where I actually you know started knowing about Daniel Larson more and more. Go watch Papa Gut Daniel Larson Thank videos. You. They're Thank actually you. really good Thank and you. very Thank informal. So and he gives very good takes on the Daniel Larson That's situation. That's true. That's one hundred percent correct. Sports Thank account. You so much. This was another account of Daniel where he would go to uh, like sports games, famous, like the call, yeah. like like baseball games, football games, and I think do water sports apparently, but that's not confirmed. Yeah, this is just like another uh, channel that Daniel Larson made and would upload. I don't know if it's still up to date. It probably isn't because I'm pretty sure Daniel did something bad to get taken down. But this was just one of Daniel Larson's other accounts. Gang Life. This is one of Daniel Larson's <laughs> most earliest before. songs. And I'm going to oh, be honest, okay. it's kind of good. Uh, obviously, it's good and it's and it's just like it's so bad, it's good way. But it's honestly a banger. Here's Let's a little snippet it. of it. Let's hear Enjoy. it. It's pretty fire, bro. Pull her like a lasso, oh, and knock on the face, turn that shit into a Picasso. Fine dining, go out like a bang, company wow. and more ass than Harry Potter. Pop of fire, I yeah, got a nine in though. my hip, making you nervous. Gonna send your ass back to Sunday service. When you bent, you look at me, she cries and begs. Blocked in her pants, looking like a third leg. I am the leader, my team is my gang. Stop messing with me because you're a hell of a snippet. Okay, who wrote that for you? This is when Daniel had like a hate arc for Jacob Centaurus because people were telling him that he cheated on Grace when they were dating. Okay. That's pretty much not true. And for Jacob, do you know? we don't know. Jacob is some kind of singer who got popular on TikTok. Jacob seems like a player. It was back I'm doing then. all right, brother. How you doing? But yeah, people were manipulating oh Daniel God. into thinking that uh, he was, you know, with, uh, uh, you know, Grace in a sense. And he got really mad and he would post videos about it. Here's a little clip of it right here. I really hate Jacob Sartorius for cheating on Grace. And giving Ellen DeGeneres head. Okay. Daniel Larson Swan. Daniel Swanson. Whatever the fuck. Oh this is just God. one of Daniel's old accounts. Uh, I'm pretty sure nothing stellar happened on it. The fog. The fog is yeah. referring to Daniel's camera, which sometimes yeah, will be covered in some mystical like uh, fog. It mainly happens when Daniel kind of... I think his grandma got him a new phone and then the fog went away. It was a hell of an arc though, guys. It was a hell of an arc. Ah, come on, stop. Ah. Takes his camera or punches it, which he's known to do. People started saying, oh, there's a mystical Lovecraftian fog in the background coming after Daniel, saying the fog is near, that we are on the verge of the fog, and stuff like that. 
the fog comes and goes every once in a while and it's basically like like a coming gag it's like it's basically a gag on the daniel larson channel could become on a slight camera you never know whenever they see the fog saying the fog is back and all that it's pretty funny though dlr records this is referring to i'm pretty sure a troll associated a uh, record deal that daniel had with someone there's not much on this where i can find so i apologize if it doesn't make sense to y'all so yeah uh, so he was part of it, and the trolls got in touch with Daniel. He became CEO somehow. I think, I think it's I think it's supposed to be like Daniel Larson Records. I think that's what it is, uh, his record studio or whatever. Uh, yeah. And he made a video about him, how he's going to run the community of DLR Records, and he's a great CEO. Here's a video of his oh, CEO-ness. Uh, it's about two minutes, so get ready for a good watch. It's pretty funny. Please don't be naked. Okay, thank God. Thank God. Thank God, Jesus. Hello, everyone. My name. He looks like Lex Friedman here. My name is Daniel Larson. Okay. So, <laughs> not sure if you guys have been watching all of my social media of course I'm and following this. my career, but I have seen a lot of issues with my current management. Okay. I have been seeing a lot going on with my case manager, DDRC. Um. Oh. My case manager's name is Reba. I will explain a little bit more with that. Okay. But um, we are... I feel bad for Reba. <laughs> Daniel's probably wearing her down. Now, DLR Entertainment and Records is putting into place that we will no longer be thrown around like a bunch of raggles. Okay. What we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing a free strike system. So anybody that works with DLR, records, and entertainment is going to be obligated to these rules. We'll have to follow them. Okay. Let's hear the rules. One thing that they're going to have to do is they have to listen to me. Okay. If they do not listen to me Great or rule. communicate with me for anything. Hey, rule number one. Listen to me, bitch. Involves me. If they do not go through me and notify me first, then Wait there will me. be a strike. After three strikes, they will be banned from the Daniel Larson from the Mickey Mouse DLR Club. Records and it's DLR coming to me or away from always coming to me. Fuck. DLR Records and Entertainment stands for Daniel Larson Records and Entertainment. For short, we go by DLRE. Now, this is going to be warning number one to Reba at DDRC. I'm gonna lose at this. Last week's meeting, you crossed the line by telling S.H.I.E.L.D. to go ahead and put me down as rep payee, that she wants them to be my rep payee, sorry, she wants S.H.I.E.L.D. to be my rep payee, and she did not communicate it with me first. Sue's gear is busting. This is a complete issue, and we will not tolerate. Step down now. Okay. Cool beans. Good video, Daniel. Managers. Managers is another name for trolls that, no. that people have given. Well, mainly Daniel's given. Whenever he's under the influence of someone... What is this game that he's playing? <laughs> what is happening here? calls them his managers. They basically tell him what to do and what to say sometimes. And if he does something bad, he'll blame it on his ex-managers or past managers. It's mainly what people are calling the trolls now. The managers, you know, they sometimes get uh, access to his uh, account and his, uh, his, his bank account, you know, and they would like to get money and extort money out of Daniel and have influenced Daniel to do some horrible things to himself and others. Not others, but mainly to himself and around others, like, you know. He would do it around his caretakers. The May 6 incident. This is referring <coughs> to when Daniel said he was going to quit TikTok. Before he did, he would do a live stream, actually. And then he would say he would audition for an adult film. This got people very worried. During the live stream, Daniel, you know, sing and dance and all that. He was basically doing a live concert. No one could hear the music, though, because, you know, it was in his headphones and very inaudible to, pe very inaudible to people. Eventually, Daniel whipped out <laughs> his pants and decided to wave his penis around. And the TikTok yeah. live got taken down along with his account. Yeah, Most yeah, we you learn that later that his managers told him he could be a porn star if he did that, and uh, so you know, <coughs> it's wild. It's wild stuff, bro. It's just wild. People wild are pretty stuff. sure that Daniel was under the influence of trolls telling him what to do on his live stream, which is very possible. This was when Daniel was in contact with some managers at the time, so it's very likely that they were telling him yeah. to go do porn. He also honestly probably thought it was funny. He probably was like, hi, this is funny. He's just being stupid. Um, yeah, I, I wish he was still... I, I really wish he was still in his disability services. It's just fucking crazy, man. He really needs help. At the time. So yeah, I'm honestly convinced that this was influenced because I'm pretty sure Daniel would not do this on his own volition. 
Rolling thunder. Caretakers. This entry is talking about how Daniel lives with disability services, which are often comes with people who take care of them, which is why they have the name caretakers. Daniel has been seen acting very badly with his caretakers, mistreating them a lot. Daniel has claimed his caretakers have tried to assault him, molest him, and even poison him with macaroni. There is footage macaroni. of him mistreating one of his caretakers, and I will put it on the screen right now. Viewer discretion is advised. Why? Why did you try to hit me? No! What? Get off me! Get off me! You tried to hit me one more time! I don't know if this is necessarily him abusing his, his caretaker. It seems like his caretaker, uh, Daniel's being obnoxious, and his caretaker is acting unprofessionally because he just put his hand up. It looks like they hit him. Um... When it comes to these types of uh, situations, f pretty much in like a, a lot of the cases, people with disabilities have like uh, a lot of like rights associated or get ranted to them. Um, you know, like raising your hand like that, like you did, is obviously very inappropriate for being even. No, what? Say, like, with that. Is advised. Why? Why did you try to hit me? No. Like that with the hand up there, that hand up here, like that's like I'm gonna hit you, hand up. That's not like up. Stay away from me, hand up. What? Right. Get off me! Get off me! You try to hit me one more time, bitch! <laughs> oh my god. Drunk okay. videos. Well. This entry's talking about some videos that Daniel will post when he's drunk. He'll say, Daniel Larson is drunk. Same. Or he'll say that one of his caretakers gave him alcohol, which they are allowed to do, so, so, so like, calm down. But yeah, this is. Uh, like yeah, I mean, I don't know if they are, but they probably ha are. And it's not even that they're allowed to do, it's that they have to do. Uh, realistically speaking. So if Daniel Larson is uh, considered consenting when it comes to alcohol, whether that's an <laughs> accurate diagnosis or not, because that's one of the things when it comes down to, you know, there's not uh, probably not enough reviews. But either way, um, they have to give him alcohol because denying him alcohol would be considered some form of abuse because he would have like the legal right to do so. So they talking about how Daniel will post videos of him being drunk. This will usually make him more angry or more calm. My caretakers made me drunk. Oh, my God. Okay. The Exile. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is referring to a time when Daniel was leaving California and heading back to Colorado, but that's not confirmed. Mainly when people say The Exile, it's referring to a time when Daniel is off the internet for a long time, where we have no, like, any information on Daniel. He's just gone from the internet. But he'll eventually come I'm back. I'm pretty sure at that point he got arrested for something. I don't remember the specifics because it's been such a long time. But I think he got arrested for something. Might have been assault, and then he was put in jail for like six months. Um, he probably should have never come back. This has happened a couple of times when he when he goes homeless or gets his phone stolen by someone. Here we go. Actually, this is referring to the time uh, Bob, who was the guy who was taking care of Daniel at the time, exiled uh, Daniel to California and all that. Android notifications. This entry is referring to a sound that you'll hear whenever Daniel has his phone out recording and forgets to turn off his notifications. This usually happens because Daniel likes to give out his number a lot to people, and they will spam him with uh, calls and everything when he's doing TikTok Live. And it usually sounds like this, so uh, get ready to hear it. It's not good. It's like a dumpster. <laughs> oh my god. It's like he turned the volume up just for that. <laughs> Manager manipulation. Okay. This entry is referring to the people who control Daniel, a.k.a. trolls, a.k.a. managers. This is what they call themselves. A lot of managers have, have been behind certain events in the Daniel Larson, you know, lore. Uh, a lot of bad things, a lot of good things. Actually, no, scratch the good things. Most of the time when people are being nice to Daniel online, they're not called managers. They'll call them The only good things are um, the songs. The songs are funny and they're fire. I like those. Outside of that, it's, uh, it's too much, you know? <clears throat> himself something else. Mainly, if Daniel has the word manager coming out of his mouth, that usually is going to lead to something very bad in the next couple of days for Daniel. So, yeah. Daniel, right now, we do know that he has no contact with any managers, but usually they will make Daniel do awful things to himself for their own sickish Not entertainment. Okay. It's disgusting, in my opinion. Fan Zooms. <sighs> Same. This one's about how Zoom calls will supposedly have fans of Daniel, and Daniel will be on those Zoom calls. These are sometimes run by managers, mostly run by managers, actually. And during these Zoom calls, they'll ask uh, Daniel questions about yeah, his life, true. and basically indulge in his fantasy about him dating people and about him being the biggest celebrity ever. These Zoom meetings, they seem nice, but they're not really good. And most of the time, they'll try to influence Daniel to do something bad. For one example, one time they convinced Daniel to go naked, and most of the audience were underage people. So, yeah. I, I hope Daniel doesn't, doesn't join any more Zooms, because he cannot do that. That, that. No, Daniel. Don't join Zoom, Daniel. Don't! Unfortunately. This is referring to something Daniel will say whenever something doesn't go his way, or something bad happens to him. He'll say, unfortunately, me and Grace are no longer date dating. Or, he'll say, unfortunately, I'm leaving TikTok. It's mostly his slang. Probably now. should. People always say, unfortunately, in the chat or something and all that, whenever something doesn't go his way or he's having a mental breakdown. 
I love CP. This is not me saying it. This is Daniel saying it. I believe, this is something I believe he was referring to Club of Penguin. They told him to say I love CP as in like Club Penguin. But you know you know what it else means, guys? <laughs> We're so funny. It means cheese pizza. So that's what it is. Daniel has said on multiple occasions, but sometimes he takes it back with saying like, oh, Club Penguin, I love cheese pizza. But then he'll just say it out of nowhere on another TikTok. This is mostly believed to be influenced by his managers telling him to say the most dumbest shit ever. Because Daniel is somewhat of a mouthpiece for people who are in contact with him. Sometimes don't take Daniel seriously. He does not know what he's talking about. But he may like CP. We have no real proof of it for now. Well, then... It's just very complicated. But yeah, this is just something Daniel used to say. He hasn't said it in a while. Uh, it could be complicated. Again, they have like, you know, very unreputable sources have apparently a conversation between him and like a 14-year-old or something. Or what he thinks is one at the time, supposedly. Um, like I said, danger to himself and others needs to be taken off the stream, put into like a healthcare facility. Those could also be edited. I also know that uh, some of the the trolls, some of the managers, managers uh, have access to his accounts and they make his likes public and they like like a bunch of pictures, like videos of young girls and shit. Everything's all over the place, bro. You really just don't know what's going on. That's why he just needs to not be on TikTok anymore. Wild, but let's just hope he doesn't say it again. Oh God. Hello, everyone. This is Daniel Larson. Okay. I love CP. Incredible. Kanye and Daniel. This insert is talking Match about a guy heaven. who pretends to be Kanye on Daniel Larson's Discord server, which I'm pretty sure is down now. Thank God. I mean, this guy with, would. <laughs> with the way that Kanye has been acting lately, it, do, it, it could really be him. You never know. It could really be him. Daniel in the digging that he was Kanye, and his name was Kanye556. And he actually had beef with Ox, which was actually someone who was trying to help Daniel and not, you know, yep. exploit him and Ox all that. Ox is a nice young man. Uh, Kanye would usually pretend to be Daniel on certain social media websites and make diss tracks on Daniel. Eventually, Daniel caught up, con like, caught on Kanye's fucking act, and he banished him from the Daniel Larson community. Damn. So, uh, yeah. People are saying that Kanye's trying to get back at Daniel this Big very man. day. But no effort has come from Kanye 556. Five, Kanye 556 five, is banned from the Daniel Larson community. Damn. Stop talking about me or I will press charges. Okay. And also anyone that talks about him. His name is banned. Damn. Really got him. There is currently a celebrity in the hospital. <laughs> this one's about how Daniel, when getting stolen... I feel like is <laughs> What the fuck is that? There's currently a celebrity that... He's talking about himself in the hospital? ...by his managers. He had a mental breakdown because many people were telling him, guys, Grace Vanderwall is in the hospital. He ran oh, out of his house and yeah. just ran to random people saying, there's okay. currently a manager in the hospital. We need information. And the people around him were just looking at him like, what the fuck are you on about, bro? This is just something that people are able to convince Daniel to do because when he likes someone so much, he'll just go on a fucking tirade when he thinks something bad has happened to him. But thankfully, I think Daniel caught on to it being a troll and has moved on from the Grace Vanderbilt obsession. At least for now. Probably oh, not. Well, I guess that's good. There's currently a celebrity in the hospital. We are asking that the information gets loose. Thank you, everyone. Please spread the message. There's currently a celebrity. There's currently a celebrity in the hospital. Oh my God. SoundCloud albums. This one is basically talking about how on SoundCloud there's some albums supposedly made by Daniel. Probably not. There probably were albums made by Daniel but taken down. But there are a couple fan edits of Daniel. Yeah, I think there was a song that I was like uh, talked about in or something. And it turns out it wasn't actually Daniel Larson who made the song. They said it was. They would just use like sound clips from him from like the past um, to make it seem like it was him. It's like really weird. People are fucking so weird on the internet, bro. It's wild. It's fucking wild. And, you know, making remixes of Daniel's voice and all that on SoundCloud. My heart and soul longs for that. Meltdowns. Okay. This one's about how Daniel unfortunately has meltdowns, breakdowns, and emotional breakdowns. Sure. On live stream or on his TikTok posts. These meltdowns are usually troll influenced sometimes. Or they can be caused by something else going on around him. Most of the time when this happens, he's getting kicked out of a place or someone has lied to him about something. For example, he had a mental breakdown where uh, he thought Grace Vanderwall was in the hospital and dying, and he couldn't get any, any information. I'm not going to upload the footage on this channel, because there, there is videos of Daniel having mental breakdowns, but I'm not going to put them on here, at least for now. I, I just well, that's nice. Doing that. Yeah, uh, I don't think you understand. need to do that. Yeah, that's good. I respect that. Poop videos. I this don't know what the fuck this Daniel is. Larson record himself pooping and Why? Of himself, uh, with poop and oh drinking toilet God. water uh, in, while there was poop hey. in there. DLP 445, am I right? Daniel Larson poop. Very nice. Why? Why would you do this? This is very highly 
known to be troll influence because I'm pretty sure Daniel <laughs> would not do this on his own. You I never know, man. I don't know who did it, but it is safe to assume that it was one of his managers who made him do that. Fine Dining Records. From what I know, these, I, I think, are some of the earliest fake record companies in the Daniel Larson universe. Here's a Reddit post explaining what's going on about them. But from what we know, some of these record companies did kind of uh, convince Daniel to go naked on stream. We don't know if it was Fine Dining specifically, but it was one of the many record labels that you see in the post here. V very disturbing stuff, if I do say so myself. Okay. BLM, Jumping Jacks. Ah, yes. Yes, of course. Daniel Larson did Jumping Jacks for BLM. Um, He did it for Black... I mean, you got to respect that. He did it for Black Lives Matter, you know? Got to respect it, dude. He stands with BLM. So. Okay, this entry is kind of funny. This entry is, is referring to the fact that Daniel will do Black Lives Matter tributes saying, rest in peace, George Floyd, or another person who sadly passed away to police brutality, and saying Black Lives Matter with doing his own version of Jumping Jacks. Fuck. He also did one when he thought the George Floyd really riots were going one. on, and he thought his fans were doing the George Floyd riots. It's honestly kind of funny. It's it's messed up. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's messed up that he thinks this is okay, but usually this happens when people are, you know, have influence over Daniel because, you know, some edgy people don't like the BLM movement and all that. I'm pretty sure they're like, oh, you should do jumping jacks for George Floyd or something. He's like, oh, my God, that's a great idea. <laughs> like, uh, it, you know, it's not exactly the most deep-seated manipulation. But it's like one of those, like, oh, yeah, you should do that. It's like a suggestion. that he goes along with it. I'm pretty sure Daniel does not have, like, any idea what BLM means or knows about certain situations. But I'm sure he knows yeah, Black Lives Matter. It's just means. like a funny uh, troll people do on Daniel. All right, somebody invaded my dungeon again. This is pussy. for Blake Shelton and Black Lives Matter. Black Blake Shelton. Oh, I'm thinking of like young Sheldon. Sorry. Black Lives Matter. Nice. Hit, hit, hit. Incredible. There he is, dude. Black Lives Matter. Tom Botter. This is about a piece of shit kid named fucking Combotter. He was a troll. Okay. He was 13 years old when he was trolling Daniel. His main goal was to make Daniel end his own life. This kid's running and he away. also got Daniel to record himself going naked and he shared it around. And he was also kind of convincing Daniel to, to leave his, uh, his disability services. Here's Papa Gut explaining the clip. Hey, it's but me. What is up with these kids bullying mentally disabled people and trying to convince them to hurt themselves or others? I don't understand. That's just not funny. That's just like wrong, dude. Oh my God. Daniel Larson News has gone out of his way to fuck with Daniel Larson. Apparently, this is him Dude, this kid's right here, this Tom Botter. Uh, and these are some screenshots of some conversations that he's had. I believe that's him. Uh, someone says, yeah, he does. He likes all those little kids on TikTok, Daniel's account. Some of the stuff that Daniel's getting accused of is totally you. Then Tom Botter says, fuck you, I'm in contact with Daniel. Yes, I might be liking little girls' videos as a joke to make him look bad, but how do you think I have all these videos and everyone else doesn't? Showing that apparently this person that runs this a Daniel Larson news account... Um, had at one point access to Daniel Larson's account and was making him like pictures of little girls. <sighs> Someone else says, I just don't know why you keep fucking with Daniel when he's oh, at... When sorry, I, I, not to interrupt my own video. This kid is obnoxious. He just goes invisible 600 times. That's not even fun to play into. What's the skill there? The kid just goes invisible and runs away. Oh my God, that was so unfun. Holy shit. He's not even on anymore. You're just trying to get more clout off of everything. Bro, fuck off. Like, it's funny. Fucking up this guy's life more than it already is. You think I give a fuck if he kills himself? If you screenshot this shit one more time, I'll delete the chats and DDoS your ass. Don't fuck with me. Um, <clears throat> now, obviously, this is, spe this is speculation, but when I, I actually got a hold of Daniel Larson's phone number, I'm not going to show it to you, but I'm going to read the messages that I sent to him and that I received back. Um, hey, Daniel, this is Papa Gut from TikTok. One of our mutuals gave me your number. I was wondering if you were open so to doing an interview myself. at some point on Discord or Zoom. Would you like proof that I'm not a troll? His response is, I would... But one of the trolls gave you my number. His name is Daniel Larson News. He manipulated me, so I will not be doing that. He made me do bad stuff. Please block him. I asked him what he did, and then I asked him if it's actually Daniel Larson or one of his managers. Um, so <clears throat> yeah. Travis Larson. Travis Larson is basically. I'm not even PVP flagged. Why the fuck is this kid attacking me? What Daniel is doing on TikTok. All right, and this is annoying tired shit. Of people like contacting him about Daniel. There's a phone call on uh, on YouTube. You can go watch that with uh, with uh, Travis Larson. It's rumored that Daniel's father and mother have actually had a restraining order on Daniel, but that's not, but that hasn't been proven at all, so, yeah. Take with a grain of salt. Moaning videos. This entry is- I gotta turn this Daniel back up in a sec. Some, some disturbing videos moaning for girls' names. 
like Grace Vanderwall and Darcy Lane. And he's also doing it in a very sexual tone. Some videos are up on the internet. Do not go look for them. It is very highly assumed that he was influenced by a troll when doing this. Story to the allegations. That was my Daniel impression. It wasn't good. But this is basically referring to the fact that Daniel will just, you know, tell the truth about the allegations or straight up deny the allegations that he has on, you know, about the CP and everything that he admits it one day and denies it one day. This is just something he'll usually say on his TikTok when he's, he's getting flack for something bad. In the game, sorry. Admitting to CP. This is about where Daniel said he was sorry for owning 500 <laughs> megabytes or gigabytes of... Yeah, my fucking beard was wild back then, dude. CP. I'm pretty sure this was just some troll messing with Daniel because, you know, that's what Daniel is, a mouthpiece for whoever is control of him. But he could like children. We have no proof that he's done anything to children, but it is safe to speculate that he does like children. It's better for him to like children Why? than to him to hurt a child yet. Because we can kind of fix Daniel if, you know, we send him to a facility. I get what, I think I understand. I get, I think I understand what this uh, young man is saying. Um... <laughs> It's coming off weird. All right. So I don't know if it's safe to speculate that Daniel likes children based on all the information that we have. Um, I think he's referring to, because obviously this guy's a fan of mine. He asked me to watch the video and, and uh, you know, I'm even included in this video. So I do appreciate that. What I think he's trying to communicate is that this is something that I talk about providing mental health resources to people with like these types of pedophilic urges um, so that they can get the help they need before they act on them. Right. Uh, that's so I think that's what he's referring to. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's this what is I, sad and gross. Yeah, incredible. I am sorry for having 500 megabytes of child porn. Oh my god, T I 3 N Z Z. I have no idea what this is about. I looked everywhere, so I have no uh, idea what that is in general. In the comment below, you know, put a timestamp and tell me what it's about and call me dumb because I don't know it. I'm sorry, I just don't know it. Nancy Scheimer. This Nancy ends with Daniel's Scheimer. late grandmother, who sadly passed away. Yeah. She was actually the main caretaker of uh, Daniel before uh, Daniel got taken away from his mother because she couldn't take care of him. You can find early footage of her and Daniel uh, on the news segment. She passed away at the age of 77 years old. Rest in peace, Nancy. The Green Room. The Green Room is uh, home to one of Daniel's most famous TikToks where he did jumping jacks for George Floyd. Uh, there Jesus may Christ. have been other videos in there, but this is the most recognizable video of the green room for Daniel. This is for George Floyd. Rest in peace. Black Lives Matter. Incredible. Beautiful stuff. Gotta love it. Oh my god, this. There has, <laughs> there has to be edited, dude. There has to be satirical with the fucking. with the shit going off constantly. There's no way. HF Autism. This stands for High Functioning Autism, which is what Daniels has. He has high, oh, sure. he has high functioning autism. It's the reason why he's in a caretaking facility and why he acts the way he does and does some of the things he does. This yeah, it's a little bit of a dated term, but it's so interesting because what people now you would say like low support needed autism or something or the high support needed or support needed. Either way, what's interesting about the the labels for like support needed or uh, you know uh, high functioning or low functioning is that people think that like somebody who's high functioning is somebody that doesn't necessarily need like any type of facility there's still plenty of people who would be considered high functioning that might be able to be, have the capacity to be more independent um who are in group homes there are some that my wife has in her group homes like it's you know it's a, it's a, it's very interesting uh, probably not to most of you but for me it is obviously because my wife this is like what my wife does for a living um yeah it's just like there, there's a, there quite a lack of uh, education for a lot of people when it comes to um, people with disabilities and people who in the group homes and like the support structures and this and that and the other thing. It's uh, interesting. Very interesting topic. Not excuse the things that he does. Remember, it's just a reason why he would do it. But this does not excuse any of his actions. Porn audition. Incredible. This is similar to the May 6th incident. Someone manipulated Daniel into... Uh, auditioning for an adult film live and you know he whipped it out again and his TikTok got banned. Yeah. That's basically he also had a video on Pornhub which eventually got taken down. So It's, it's disgusting that people are able to get away with this. <clears throat> it's, it's just awful. Daniel uses his BPD for manipulation. What? Okay, I know this entry says what? CBD, but let me explain for a minute. I'm 100% sure that the guy who made this iceberg did a typo because I could not find anything on this. Maybe Daniel, you know, 
uh, you know, smoked out some fucking Zaza, you know, and got cranked the fuck out, but that's about <laughs> it. CBD from, oil. You know, Daniel. I can't find anything on Daniel, but that's about it from, you know, but the CBD. But BPD makes more sense because it could stand for bipolar disorder or burst or pers or borderline personality disorder. And yeah, we don't know if Daniel really has those, but sometimes he'll say he has it for manipulation purposes, but maybe he, he'll just say it because sometimes, you know, he does kind of act like that. I'm thinking okay. more bipolar than, you know, borderline personality disorder because the way he acts just seems very bipolarish. Bipolar if that's offensive, I apologize. Trey. What I would say when I when I hear that he uses potentially uses a disability for attention, which is what I'm, I'm getting out of that. That's my interpretation of it. It's totally possible. Um, there are people like even in the houses my wife works for uh, that will like they they know they have a disability, and they know that there are some things that they could do to um, take advantage of that and take advantage of the care workers there. Sometimes it's not like horribly malicious, but yeah, it's possible. You know, sometimes they know that if they exhibit a certain behavior, that they'll get a certain response uh, from like the, the the direct support professionals and stuff like that. Hundred percent exists. They're still human beings. You know, that that's the most. Uh, I think the most person centered thing that you can understand is that just because someone has a disability doesn't make them a good person. They can still be just as much of a bad person as anybody else. Um, for sure, it doesn't take away the fact that he does have a disability, and that obviously you need to treat him a bit differently than you would treat somebody who doesn't. But it is something that definitely happens, <clears throat> for sure. Transgender. Daniel has said on some occasion that he is transgender. Yep, that was the first time he arc. did, of what I'm pretty sure is that it was for Transgender Awareness Month, where in honor of Transgender Awareness Month, he is transgender. I don't know if it's forever or just for the month. But later on, he would upload another TikTok. I don't know if this was before or after, saying, asking his audience, hey, what should I do if I decide to transition? What would you guys think if I transition? Most likely, this is just a troll telling him to say this because, you know, they think it's funny. That's about it. Hello, this is Daniel Larson, oh God, and God. this is Transgender Awareness Month. <laughs> okay. Because it is Transgender Awareness Month, I am transgender. Okay. Please stay tuned. Please help us out. Stay tuned. Thank you. Well, uh, hello everyone. I guess this is... I guess they are st <laughs> they're standing with trans people. Daniel Larson, what do you think? about me changing into a female. It's incredible stuff, Daniel. Fake, fake news. news. This one's about how Daniel will say everything that's being accused of him is fake news, like, you know, the Pinterest and other awful things. It's also the name of his song. It's honestly, bro, the song is kind of fire. Take a listen. Making them bleed. It's me, Daniel Larson. I'm from the streets. I stay in the studio making them beats. Oh. Fake news, fake news. Yeah, we got fake news. RNC management, a bunch of geeks. Paper route empire, just a bunch of freaks. You're a fake company, just drop the addy. I'm tired of this shit. Just give them a baddie, baddie, baddie. What fake the news? fuck? Okay, that was it's pretty good. To a room that Daniel was recording some of his TikToks in. I don't know if anything specific happened in there, but you know, during this time, uh, he had the Mohawk, so it was presumably that he was in this room during the Mohawk era. Okay. That's about it. If anything happened in this room specifically, please let me know, because I'd like to know. The Pinterest. Daniel has a Pinterest account, and when people found out that Daniel had a Pinterest account, they saw Daniel's liked photos, and yep. what they saw were disturbing. Many photos of girls, and, you know, revealing outfits, and in weird positions, and weird search results in the Pinterest, and everyone believed it was Daniel. And it could have been. But yeah, you have it's to hard to know. Keep in mind that Daniel is known to give his information out to who he thinks are his managers. Yeah, and this is this is something that makes everything so like ambiguous. Like you really don't know because their managers we know for a fact had access to, like the TikTok, and now like it's possible they had access to the Pinterest and were liking stuff and showing this. And we really just don't know. We really don't. Um, we really don't. And like we saw in the combater section, they will like random pictures of little girls to make Daniel look worse. I think for this situation, it's 50-50. Maybe Daniel likes to picture, picture like a little girl non-sexually, but we don't know that for sure. Uh, maybe. It's a 50-50 on the Pinterest account. I think that the ultimate irony is that he was in a facility that he needed to be in and troll like in that like some kind of a healthcare facility group home, and then people manipulated him away from that. And so, you know, if he does have an issue, it's just going to continue to get worse. So. The media. Media. This entry is referring to what Daniel will say or call his fans or trolls when they come up to him in public or say anything bad about him. He'll say, the media is spreading lies about me, or the media keeps asking me questions in public, or the media ha is harassing me. It's basically another media word Daniel likes to use. And also, if you see Daniel out in public, I, I recommend do not 
going near him. If you want to, you can, but like, I, I personally do not recommend it. Special Olympics. This was referring to the time Daniel actually, you know, took a part of the Special Olympics in Texas. Here's a photo Whoa. of him. He was actually in the bowling area of the, of the Olympics, or bowling division of the Olympics. No, it's crazy to think that Daniel was in the uh, Special Olympics. You know, I thought the Pinterest stuff was before he blew up on TikTok. Like, yeah, well, that's the thing is that you can go back and like pictures and stuff. Like, it's not like it's difficult to do stuff like that. It's totally possible that some of it or all of it is from them. Um, it's also possible people got his information and they decided to like mess with his shit. Like I said, you really can't know. It's uh, basically impossible, I suppose. Yeah. This is kind of like you know nice to see. Before we get ever wild class, I don't know. I played this game. Daniel though, owns though. actual CP. This entry is referring to the theory that Daniel actually owns CP. Theory. This is just a theory. It could be possible Daniel has said he owns it, but at the end of the day, sometimes he's a mouthpiece for trolls who are manipulating him. So it's possible, but not confirmed. But <clears throat> I personally think that Daniel will not go actively try to get CP. I personally think a troll who is manipulating him will probably give him the CP because, I mean, they're trolling a mentally disabled guy on the internet. I don't think CP is out of their, you know, range if they're doing that. Red, white, and blue jacket. This is about Daniel's red, white, and blue jacket. He All wore right. it in some of his uh, TikTok videos. He know. wore it in the Black Lives Matter George Floyd Dubbing <laughs> Jack video. But we haven't seen it in a while. People have said he lost it or he just threw it away. But that's about it. I don't know why it's so specific, but hey. I guess I they say, felt like they had to edit it. The jacket looking dapper as fuck. Let's see it. Oh, okay. Golden sunset. Pretty short and I just Reflections on the sea. The original fog. What is the original this fog? This is referring to the first time we ever saw the fog. This oh, was after Daniel Neal broke his phone, and yeah, this is basically just about the original fog. It's pretty funny. How <laughs> I feel like whoever made the iceberg could have just included that in the the fog segment. Didn't have to make like a specific original fog part there. I know this guy didn't make this uh, iceberg. He, well, he's making the iceberg video, but he didn't create the iceberg. But still, it's like weird that you'd add that. Like that that person, the original person made that. Started because Daniel broke his phone camera. Daniel's friend videos. Okay. This could be referring to three things. One where Daniel was with his uh, friend where he shared disability services with. The other could mean people, you know, that come up to him, hang out with him for a little bit, then leave, you know, or like give him a ride somewhere. Or it could be the videos he does with little kids. I guess. Uh, let's just hope it's the first two. Roach Records. This entry is about uh, Roach Records. They're one of, I think, the first or earliest uh, record companies that Daniel was working with or signed with. They actually held a bunch of fan zooms and all that. And uh, that's about it from what I know of them. I don't think they did anything really bad to Daniel. From what I remember, they were actually, like, trying to help Daniel. That's all I know for now, but yeah, that's about it. Daniel abused his mom. This is talking about why Daniel doesn't live with his mom anymore. Because he abused her. And people say he allegedly abused his grandmother, but there's no proof on that one. He abused... I don't know if that's true. Um... I kind of I would say that I even doubt that. I don't know. I've never heard that before. And that just doesn't, it doesn't add up to me at all. So Daniel wasn't living with his mother since he was like a kid. This is something where we, we watched the video where he was like a, a little kid and he wasn't with his mom. Now, it's possible that he was a handful in some capacity and the mom couldn't handle it and wanted to put him into a service. But the grandmother then had him. So it kind of just seems like somebody effectively made that up. Um, so, but OK. And. And this is why Daniel is in those uh, caretaking facilities, because he, he abused his mom, and that's why he's there. And actually, this is why people say that his mom allegedly has a restraining order on Daniel, but that's just a rumor. Presidential run 2020. This is about Daniel when he uh, tried to run for president in, in 2020. People were hyping him up in the comments and saying, yo, Mr. President, and, you know, then he believed he was the, <laughs> the president. Honestly, this was, like, I think one of the most lighthearted yeah, Daniel Mark controls. <laughs> We don't know if like oh, people manipulated him into doing this or he just did it on will. But uh, yeah, this was actually a pretty light hard troll. And honestly, Daniel Daniel's gonna try to be president again, twenty twenty four. He will be president. So uh, yeah, thank you, Mr. Daniel Larson. Uh, good luck in the reelection, sir. Three DL. This was a hashtag movement that people were using when uh, Daniel was getting a lot of accusations thrown at him because people thought you know he's getting manipulated by trolls, which which he was. He he was all the time. I don't know, but sometimes he I think we really need a free DL Hughley. So we really need to free. He is. And people use, you know, free DL because they wanted him to be free from the manipulation people were putting on him. So yeah, this kind of spread some awareness about Daniel Larson and got a lot of people to know about who Daniel is now. Hopefully DL Hughley doesn't actually have like an accusation against him or something. And I'm just like uh, unintentionally supporting him. I just thought of DL Hughley randomly. <laughs> That's it. I don't. 
<laughs> so let's hope. Let's see if he did anything wrong. Self harm. This is about how Daniel will sometimes hurt himself on live stream, or when he's like having a mental breakdown, he'll hurt himself and say he'll end his life. For Let's one see. example, there's one where uh, he didn't have any information on Grace Vanderwall, and he was so. hitting himself, and he said he was going to end his life and all that. It's a very sad thing to talk about when it comes to Daniel. JP. JP was one of Daniel's caretakers, and I think the most well-known one. Actually, Daniel mentioned his name during the infamous breakdown about Grace Vanderwall, saying that he's getting kicked out because of JP. Uh, JP would eventually, I, I, I assume, remove Daniel, or Daniel would, would like remove himself. Because Daniel would do a lot of bad things, like, you know, hit himself, break shit in their house. You just want to make a pop got iceberg? I'm waiting for it, dude. Where's the pop got iceberg? Let me see that. Let me watch, let me, let me watch that video. Let me, let me read that iceberg. Uh, you know, sometimes almost hurt them, claim that, the, like, claim that they hurt him and all that. Just a lot of bad stuff. Eventually, the cops had to be called a lot on Daniel because uh, he would be running amok in JP's house. And that's why Daniel left JP. The Ice Cube video. This, is the ice this cube was a video, video Daniel made asking the singer Grace Vanderwall, who was underage at the time of him okay. making this video, to shove ice cubes up her vagina. Incredible. There's no Jesus way to sugarcoat this, so I'm just gonna say it. Okay. It. He asked her to put ice cubes up her vagina. Uh, people think this was influenced by trolls, but this may have been Daniel's own doing. I'm pretty I sure this he's may freaky have been like Daniel's that. own doing because sometimes he says awful things on his own volition. Because sure. he's that socially unaware of his actions sometimes. Uh, yeah, God, a little inappropriate. Day, we, we, we don't know if Daniel... Daniel is a lizard. <laughs> this explains <laughs> a lot. The theory about Daniel <laughs> is a lizard. Because his tongue sticks out far, and he looks scaly, and he looks weird. It would explain That's a lot. It. It would. It's just it would. him, people thinking he's a, he's a lizard. That's about it. <laughs> Background porn music. Jesus Christ. This video is pretty decent so far. Uh, the the creator is pretty good, and that the sound is a little off. Like he's speaking a little lower than the videos he plays, but that was just super jarring right there. <laughs> to fucking hear that was crazy. Holy moly! Daniel would sometimes, you know, have background porn music in his TikToks or in his videos. That's basically it. Drink a lots of water. Drink lots of water. Oh god, this is referring to something that Daniel said to Grace Vanderwall. The reason why he said to drink lots of water was because, you know, he was going to make her... Squirt, you know. How do I say this? Is that what he's saying? Sprinkle water out of okay. herself. Incredible. Jesus Fucking Christ. my life, dude. Juice Box Records, KOK Records, <laughs> RNC Management, Paper Brown Empire. I combined all these scumbags together because these are basically managers that made Daniel do bad things and did a lot of bad things to Daniel and stuff. They were very bad people. <laughs> this is... <laughs> <laughs> you can hear this this young man making the video. He seems to be getting like more and more distressed as the video goes on, and he talks more about this shit. It's, it's a little funny. I'm pretty sure they got docs and thrown out of power, and that's why they're not involved with Daniel anymore. And that's about it. Good riddance. Good fucking riddance. FBI. Uh, this one's talking about inspector. two things. The first one is that people think Daniel was being investigated by the FBI, or is still being investigated by the FBI because of all mm -hmm. the things he's done online. And the other one is something Daniel will say to trolls, saying that like he's gonna send the FBI FBI on them because you know he's, he's the trolls. president. That's he's about it for the this president. One. That's why. <clears throat> oh, fun fact: he even sent the FBI after Quandell Dingle, Mr. President. Yeah, crazy. That's what I'm saying he's the, he's the, he's Daniel the president. Daniel plays with eight year old kids. Okay. Okay, it's just some videos of Daniel playing with kids and you know having a good time, but it, you know it looks bad because you know not really Daniel's accusations and all that i know the one he was talking about he was like playing with like i don't know he was like playing with a kid not in like an inappropriate way nothing seemed inappropriate or bad about it not for nothing but if you thought daniel was an actual pedophile he wouldn't be attracted to grace vanderwall she's five years younger than him and over the age of 13 she, like i doubt that it has to do with an attraction to children um i don't think it's appropriate but like we throw these words around like they're they mean nothing so just because there's a video of a kid that he's hanging out with for whatever reason, I'm sure that it, he didn't just go break into a kid's house, probably some kind of a family member or something. So, <clears throat> um, but yeah, have we gotten Guandale Dingle yet here? What's going on here? Daniel, from as far as we know, has done nothing to the kids. And if he was a terror to kids, he probably wouldn't be near them, you know? It's just videos of him. You know, goofing around with kids that he probably shouldn't be with, but you know, he's, done, he's doing nothing bad. It's, it's just, it looks creepy, okay? Not really. It just looks I don't very think creepy. it does. It looks bad. Oh, fuck. I'm going to get locked. Daniel lives with other mentally impaired people. 
this is part of Daniel's uh, yeah, caretaking facility. Like you have to live with so. other people who aren't like him, you know, with like mental disabilities. That's why I said in the friend's part, like in the friend video part, that he had a video of his uh, friend who was in the caretaking facilities. That's about it. Thousand miles away. It's a new day. Away. Ooh, that was beautiful. The original caretaker. This is just referring to, I think, it's like some the of Daniel's Zelda old caretaker. The original and Zelda old timeline. Videos. And that's about it. We don't really know their names. We just know them as original caretakers. Okay. It's assumed that Daniel misbehaved, and that's why he's no longer with them anymore. KOK Records and Juice Box Doxing. All right, this may be referring to two things. Uh, both of these motherfuckers got doxxed after fucking with Daniel, or this could uh, mean that uh, they were doxing Daniel and where he was at to other people so they could go, you know, fuck with them and all that. And these people, the reason why they're on the bottom is because they're very bad, because they extorted money out of Daniel. Not good people and good riddance. I'm glad they're gone. Deep Web Rule 34. I'm pretty sure this what? is talking about some stuff Daniel posted where you can see his dingling, or yeah, well, they could I be talking really about something about using his mom and why he is a parole officer. I honestly do not know what this means. <clears throat> because when I first saw this, I thought it meant, you know... Is that referring to him? Did he assault his mom? Is that why he was arrested? That makes more sense than, like, abusing... Uh, those are generally, like, different things. But maybe. I don't remember why he got arrested. I don't know exactly what it was. Um, Pictures of Daniel naked. But then some people tell me different, so who knows? Daniel has R worded a child. I'm not going to say that word. I'm sorry. I'm not. This is all just theories and speculation. This is just a. Th there's some theories and some videos where, like, Daniel, like, grabs a little kid and says, Oh, I got you now. But that's about it. Daniel has not done this. This is just some, uh, just crude theory people want, want to be true because they don't like him. And let's be honest. If Daniel really did do this, he would be in jail or be somewhere held down. Let's just be honest. Come on, guys. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, that's it. We're done. It's over with. Hope y'all enjoy the video. I'll I'll, I'll see y'all in the next one later, guys. All right. Well, that video wasn't too bad. Uh, give him uh, give him the old subscription, guys.